If you're somebody that has a bunch of exercises that you know you need to do to get a particular issue better, whether that's back pain or headaches or neck pain, and um, maybe you've been given these by the physio or the chiropractor, but you're just not able to implement these into your day, or maybe you just keep forgetting to do these exercises, then don't worry, this is a very common problem that people have. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my three very easy steps that you can do right now so you can implement these exercises and then you can get yourself better. Let's begin. Hello, my name is Dr. Stephen Hume. I'm a chiropractor based in Didcot. And firstly, I just want to thank you if you are a regular watcher of my channel. I've now surpassed the 1000 subscriber mark and I actually haven't created that many videos recently and I want to change that. So this video is gonna be a first of the many videos that I'm gonna be doing fairly regularly over the next foreseeable future. So in this video, we're gonna look into what you can do today, some really, really easy steps, just three of them, to help implement the exercises that you've been given into your day. Because exercises are completely useless if you're not doing them. And some issues that you might get, whether it's knee pain or back pain, you need to do certain exercises to get yourself better. And if you don't do them, you're not gonna get better. So number one is gonna be make it realistic. If you don't make your goals realistic, you're probably not going to do them. And I got this rule from a book that I read called Atomic Habits. And the author of this book said to make it as realistic as possible, as low as possible, lower than you think you can achieve, so that you make sure that you start the habit. Once you then start it, then you can start to increase the amount that you do. So for example, if you've been given exercises that you know is gonna take you about half an hour, it's less likely you're gonna be able to get into doing these exercises. If it is vital that all of these exercises you need to do, then you're just gonna to have to do it. You might not be able to compromise on that. But a lot of the time, I know that when I give exercises, there are one or two that are the most important. So I always start with giving those exercises first and then we start to build. And one of my favorite exercises to give, particularly for back pain, is a cat camel. And I make it very realistic. It takes about 30 seconds for that person to do it. And so they're more likely to do it. Also doesn't require much equipment, so it's very easy for them to do. So you basically wanna reduce anything that's gonna get in the way of you doing that exercise. So it essentially just needs to be easy for you to do. Number two is to put it next to another habit. I would say this is one of the most effective rules to follow if you want to implement another habit. We all have habits throughout the day. Even if we think we're not very good at uh, routine or we don't have a routine, everybody has a routine. You're always gonna go to bed and you're always gonna get up in the morning for most of us. So if you're looking to put a new habit next to one of your old habits, one of the easiest ones to do, and this is one of the things that I say to almost all my patients when I'm trying to get them into a certain exercise, is to put this exercise in when you wake up in the morning and before you go to bed, because we all have a sort of routine before we go to bed, whether that's brushing your teeth and getting your tea ready for the morning, whatever it is, hopefully we can just very easily slot that in and very quickly we can get make that a habit. Then number three, my last and final one, is to set a reminder on your phone. We're we'll all carrying around our phones these days, so it's very easy for us to put a reminder in it. In fact, Siri makes that even easier if you've got an iPhone. It literally will take you about 10 seconds to put it into your phone. So if you are trying to get something new into your day, a new habit, then you're gonna need some kind of reminder. Now, you might not actually need this if you put your habit next to one of your old habits. You might only need it maybe the first time or the second time, and then usually it's very easy for you to remember this. So hopefully that's gonna help. They're my three top tips for implementing new habits into your day. And something that I always re remember one of my very close friends said to me, you only need to do something two days in a row and suddenly then it's a habit. By definition, it's a habit. So it doesn't take that long to form a habit. You just need to get yourself started. And often it's not about time. Rarely is it about time. I know a lot of people say that I don't have time to put these exercises into my day. One of the exercises that I give is called a cat camel and that takes 30 seconds to do eight cycles of that and still people will tell me that they don't have time. I know it's not about time, it might feel like it's about time. It's more about fitting it into your routine and remembering to do it. If it's a habit, you generally don't have to remember. You're automatically 
going to remember to do it. If there's any questions you have, then put them down in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on my next video, which should be very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.